Hey there, New Beginnings. Good morning. My name is Pastor Danish House, and welcome to our uh, daily update and devotional video. Today is Friday, November 1st, 2024. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life now as well. Today is Jewel Ratzliff's birthday. Happy birthday, Jewel. God bless you. Hope that today you have a wonderful, pain-free, healthy day. Our sister Jewel has been going through uh, some cancer treatments, and um, praise God, they're they're working and seem to be reducing the size of her tumors. And and uh, but uh, the treatments can be really challenging. So pray that today, especially Jewel, you're able to have a good meal and enjoy uh, your family and enjoy the fact that God has continues to have plans for you in this world. So we're glad that you're with us. Uh, as well. Tonight at 7 is our Young Adults Fellowship for people ages 18 to 35 or so. And uh, they have a great time of worship and um, of study of the scripture. Excuse me, study of the scriptures and a good time of fellowship with one another. Tonight at 7 here at the church. Tomorrow, uh, November 2nd, is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Glad that you're part of our fellowship and part of my life. Uh, wouldn't have a life without you, so thanks. Really glad that you're here. Uh, and I pray that you have a wonderful birthday tomorrow and uh, that you're loved, you know that you're loved by God and by your church and by your son. Yeah. Uh, also, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. is our men's breakfast. So that's a fun time for the men to gather together and to uh, enjoy each other's company, study the scriptures, and have a great breakfast. Sunday, November 3rd, is the start of uh, daylight, the end of daylight savings time, so we're going to be falling back, so you get an extra hour of sleep. If you show up to church an hour early, that's okay. I'll be here. I'll, I'll be happy to see you. Uh, at 9 a.m., we have our prayer meeting. Uh, also, we have Emotionally Healthy Relationships class, and then at 10 o'clock is our morning service. So then I'll... That's our weekend, so great, good stuff. Our, uh, the sermon topic on uh, this Sunday is uh, why did God command the killing of so many people in the Old Testament? So that's our topic on Sunday. If you're going to do something light, you know, last, last Sunday we did abortion policy, uh, and this Sunday we'll just do is God uh, genocidal. So yeah, so just do from light topic to light topic, you know, just for a break. <laughs> that's the way it goes with Stump the Chump, baby. All right, uh, yeah, so um, our Stump the Chump question this past Sunday was about abortion policy. And a, good, a good discussion about that, I think. Uh, check that out on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page. You can see that service. It's archived there. Um, and so the last couple of days, I've been talking about Romans chapter 14 and also 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and some key passages about how there is one body and many parts and we ought not to look down on other parts of the body that God has called to do different things than God has called us to do. And in Romans 14, the Apostle Paul talks about three different hot button issues of his day, whether you could eat uh, meat that was sacrificed to idols and be a faithful Christian, whether you could uh, whether you had to observe certain Jewish festival days, uh, holidays as being especially holy, or whether all days are just as holy as any other day, and also whether or not you should be able to drink alcohol. Those were the three of the major issues, hot button issues of Paul's day. And he says, look, whichever way, side you come down on, come down on it with a clean conscience, because if you do it for the Lord, it's all, it's all good. Whether you eat or drink, or you abstain, or whether you celebrate the day or not, um, do it as unto the Lord. And it's not that there's no right answer. He says there is a right answer, right? It's okay to eat food that's sacrificed to idols. It's okay to drink alcohol. And every day is just as holy as any other day. There's no one day that's more special than another. Those are his answers to those three questions. But that's not his point. In fact, he says, and this is just, again, mind-blowing here in Romans 14, uh, it says in verses 17 through 19, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. So let us pursue what makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. Here he's, he's got those two issues, right? Eating and drinking. That's, that's sort of his shorthand for the issues that he's been discussing. 
And they're important issues, and there is a right answer, he, he says earlier in the passage. But he says that's not the point. That's not what the kingdom of God is about. The kingdom of God is not about figuring out what's right and wrong in this particular instance, um, in these particular issues, uh, and getting it right and making sure everybody gets it right. But of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. There's a... Uh, Worship song by Ron Canoli, K E N O L Y, I think it is. Ron Canoli, Righteousness, Peace, and Joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. It's a great, catchy song. I, I don't want to sing it because I'll be singing it all day long, but check it out. Go on YouTube. Look for Ron Canoli, K E N O L L Y, two L's, I think. Uh, righteousness, Peace, and Joy. Uh, it's a great song. What's great about the song is not just the words, which come right out of this passage, but What's great about this song is that it is, it's joyful. It's a joyful song. And, you know, I think sometimes Christians, you know, we're very, we're very serious people. And that's good. It's good to be serious about the things of God. And we don't want to take things lightly. But, but sometimes we got to take things lightly. <laughs> I think that's what Paul is saying here. It's like, look, you know, these things are important, right and wrong. Important, important issues, right? Um, but it's not the most important thing. Right. More important than that is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In other words, live the Christian life. Right. Uh, righteousness. I, you know, righteousness does have an aspect that's about right and wrong, but mostly righteousness is about treating one another right. Right. Do, doing right by one another. So, you know, do your best to love one another and bless them in some way. Do that, right? And then when in doubt, bless somebody else. When in doubt, do right by someone else. When in doubt, treat someone else rightly. Um, that's what the kingdom of God is about. Oh, when in doubt, have peace. Be at peace. Don't worry about this thing, right? When and when in doubt, focus in on what leads to peace and mutual upbuilding. When in doubt, do the joyful thing. <laughs> when in doubt, you know. Uh, enjoy the world that God's given you. Enjoy the fact that God set you free from your sin and from judgment. Enjoy the fact that God has set you free from judging even yourself. So you don't have to feel guilty anymore. You can you can live a life of joy. I, I think that, you know, again, we get real serious and I get real serious. I, I preach, you know, 35, 40 minute messages, God help us on Sunday mornings that are carefully thought through and by biblically reason. I do use humor uh, from time to time, but, but you know, all in all, it's a serious project. And I, all in all, I believe that this, the Bible is important and it's meaningful for our lives and we need to obey Jesus and there's a right and wrong. And we, you know, those are so important, serious things. And, and I'm never not going to be consider preaching to be important and serious or, or or the worship that we do to be important and serious or the life of the church to be important and serious but also let's not forget that it's about joy and peace and doing right by one another and sometimes it's not that complicated sometimes it's just do what's right and leads to peace and brings joy Follow what the Holy Spirit has put into your heart and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Um, I, I don't think that God wants us to live dour lives for the sake of the Spirit, for the sake of the Savior. I think that he came to give us life and life more abundantly. I, I think that Jesus came to set us free to, you know, in a sense, eat, drink, and be merry, to enjoy the world that he's created, to enjoy the people that he's created in the way that he meant for us to enjoy them, right? Not exploiting people, not taking advantage of people, not, you know, using people for our own pleasure, but enjoying them for who they are and celebrating the differences in who we are and the quirks, right? Enjoying someone else's sense of humor, enjoying their, their, the gifts that God's given them and rejoicing that God has given them gifts that he hasn't given us. And, and, uh, you know, celebrating the life of 
of faith in our community. It's a f- good thing to be a Christian. It's a fun thing to be a, a Christian. It's a fun thing to be a member of New Beginnings Christian Missionary Alliance Church. I love this church. I love the people in this church. I think it's great to be your pastor, and I think it's great to hang out with you and study the scriptures and have fun and sing songs and minister to kids. And <laughs> Isn't it great? I mean, it is great. It's about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Um, and, you know, we, today's Jules' birthday, right? So uh, we know that it's not all fun and games. You know, we do deal with difficult things. Uh, with and Jewel, Right now, Jewel has cancer, right? Um, but Jewel is the first person to say that we should have righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Went to visit today. I'm, I'm recording this on Monday. So at the end of the last week, I went to visit Jewel in the hospital, and I was so encouraged to spend time with her. And um, you know, thank God she's out of the hospital now. As far as I know, today on Monday, um, she's out of the hospital. But and great, I saw her at church yesterday. She was laughing with people. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, because of Jesus, we can enjoy life and enjoy each other's company and then that's just a great that's a great thing so you know when when you get down by all the seriousness the, of christianity i want you to just sort of take a step back and laugh a little and say okay it's all in god's hands and so it's all going to turn out okay and i don't have to be worried i don't have to be anxious i don't have to fret over you know am i really saved if i struggle with this that or the other thing I just let it go give it give it a rest and enjoy, enjoy life in Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Lord, I pray that you would bless every person within the sound of my voice, that they might be able to enjoy you, to enjoy righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, Um, and not to be always so worked up about everything. Um, Please help us to have peace in you and joy in you and to live righteously. Pray a blessing today on Jewel Ratzliff on her birthday, tomorrow on Vilma House on her birthday. Please bless them, encourage and strengthen them. May they know that they're loved by you and by your people um, and that they have joy in their lives. I pray for our Young Adults Fellowship tonight, men's breakfast tomorrow, and all the church activities on Sunday morning. Uh, May we be blessed. Uh, May you be blessed. May we enjoy an extra hour of sleep on Sunday morning. And uh, may may you just uh, be the center of our joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings. I look forward to talking to you again on Monday.